break you pathetic excuse of a saintist. I heard her you shut down those nanobots. Or else I'll lodge a nail through that egg-shaped head of yours. Back off. And no funny business this time. <laughs> because you just told me. Now, for a little space ride. Hey! You bastard. Hey, do you know what time it is? Let's take care of business first. It's time for you to die. Yeah, I'm out of here. Miss Jungle, hold your fire, don't shoot! Jungle, this is Liz and Void Jr. You're mine. If this is what families do... Jungle! Take Liz and my son and get them off this island as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Wait, wait! What about you? Liz, I'm sorry, but I won't be joining you this time. I have to go back inside and finish Tyranium off once and for all. Wait, no! You can't go back in there! Get yourself killed! I know, darling. But I have to do this to make sure the nanobots never see light of day. And I need to do this to save the computer world. Besides, if I can't do it, who will? <laughs> yes, if I don't make it, please take good care of our son. He is the future of saving the computer world. I won't let you die up there! For the last time, Princess, no! I have to do this, and you have to take care of our son while I'm gone. And in order, Your Majesty. <gasps> Alright. I'll take good care of him. I promise. And whenever I look into his beautiful eye, I will always remember you. I promise. <laughs> Goodbye, Blue Boy. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye, Junko. Hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Hacker, talk to me. Listen carefully. I managed to hack into the database of the university, and I discovered how to shut down the nanobots project for good, unfortunately. The only way to do so is to infect the school with a blaster wand. Um, Hacker, you do realize that infecting the school with the blaster worm will cause the island to blow up to kingdom come in precisely 60 seconds, right? Void Ranger? 
I can name you a few reasons as to why we apparently have some in invited ghost who will be arriving at the university in 15 minutes time. Totally V. Hi Granger, this is Minister Norton speaking. I'm here with the UAV ministers monitoring your every move. We need to shut down the Nanobots project immediately, or else we'll lose all the certificates for the dark web, and Total AV will take control over half the computer world. I know, which is why I need Vic's help to install the blaster worm from his floppy disk onto the island, so that optical illusions cannot enter the school. But Mr. Boy, if we infect the island with the blaster worm, Everyone at Microsoft Corporation will be demanding answers. And they'll possibly pull out of the United Antivirus Movement. And perhaps, they'll even pull the plug while they're at it. Well, Mr. Vic, I missed the part where that's my problem. Now remember, when I give the signal, blow this island up to kingdom come. Do I make myself clear? Vic, listen to me. If we don't do this, the entire computer world will blue screen and will all be deleted. Nick, <laughs> when I say go, it means go! Alright, Mr. Void, so be it. But remember, you asked for this. That was for my virus syndicate content control, and this is for my friends that you destroyed. <laughs> Hacker, Vic, this is Void Ranger. Looks like I came across an old friend of ours. Good thing I put him out of commission. At least for now. Good thing I blew his mind. Void Ranger, coming. Did you find the control tower? Yes. Now this is an environment I'm more comfortable with. Excellent. No listen up. There is a command line you need to enter within the command prompt in order to give Vic his admin privileges before he can infect the university with a blaster worm. Alright Vic, the floor is yours. Infect the living hell out of this island. Mr. Void, infection has been complete. You have exactly 60 seconds to get out of there before the computers malfunction and start blowing up the island. Right, I'm on it. Impressive, Master Fred. Your channels are those nanobots like a wild animal.
Well now, look who finally decided to show up. Back to Tickle Illusions, my son. We miss you. Totally me. And Byroot, you're here too? But of course. This Nanobot's project is our project after all. And we are here to buy it out of our good friend Terranium. So that we can take over the majority of the computer world. This of this. The Dark Web. If only I had enough strength to take down all three of you, I would. I'm afraid you can't do that, Master Fred, for you all. Thanks to the energy queen you took earlier, Falted has poisoned you with a copy of the last one. It's fascinating, isn't it? Two heroes caught in a tragedy of their own making, and yet, you were the one who tried to break the rogue antivirus curse by trying to make a difference for the computer. How pathetic. And now the blast room has affected you in 60 seconds. You will blue screen to your death instantly. While we of optical illusions walk away from this island with the dark web in our hands. you, my old friend, and it was a pleasure doing business with you. Yes! The Dark Web is ours! Victory! No, this cannot be. I won't let you. Goodbye, Matifer. Curse was nice knowing you. Jinko, this is Void. I need you to patch me through my fiance as well as the UAV. Please? Yes, I'm on it. Lice, all I said, Bethrex, it's for you. Yes, yes, are you there? You're still alive! Where are you right now? What's going on over there? <laughs> the truth of the matter is, I've been infected with the blaster worm. That jackass Serenium hit me with a solar beam while we were on the island. And now Total AV got away with the dark web. And the nanobots are still going strong. What? Are you kidding me? No, no, ministers. Let's just calm down and take a deep breath. Calm yourself, Mr. Void. There's still time. All we need to do is get you off this land, and history is history. Well, <laughs> that would have been great. But unfortunately, we have set the island to self-destruct in 60 seconds. And unfortunately, my time is sadly running short. Damn it, it's all my fault. I should have never infected the island to begin with. And now Void's gonna blue screen to his death. And it's all because of me. Void, are you still there? Yes, please. I'm alright. That's good. So Void, when are you gonna leave the island? Well, please. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not gonna make it. What? You promised me we were gonna make it out alive! Together! Just please, get off the island! Void, listen to me. Everything is gonna be okay. Yes, you have given me the most beautiful gift I could ever ask for. And that gift <coughs> is you. 
Void, are you infected? Yes, please. <coughs> I'm afraid so. No! You can't die! There has to be another way! We just need more time! <sighs> if only we had more time. We have all the time in the world. I love you. Void, listen to me. A little teddy bear. He does have your eyes. And I will cherish him. Now and forever. I know you will. I Thank you for joining us here in the conference room during these difficult times. And so, let us remember the life of the youngest and bravest antivirus to ever live, Mr. Void Rage. It's been hard to make a speech about what to say. However, we should just gather here in silence to remember he who saved the computer world once again. And I thought about reading a chapter out loud in this very book that I once read at my mentor's funeral. A chapter to which I find appropriate for such a tremendous loss. The function of an antivirus is to live, not to exist. <laughs> to Void Ranger! Our youngest and bravest antivirus! <laughs> Ranger! Hold on, your highness. Let me handle this. Void, wake up! Can you hear me? I said wake up! I... I think so. Void! Don't you ever fucking scare me like that again! Do you hear me? Yeah, we will, Liz. I'll try not to scare you next time. <laughs> hey little buddy, I have a friend who wants to play with you. My teddy bear. <laughs> oh boy, I love you. I love you too, Liz. So, how did you find out your stepson was gonna land here in Tenebrizzi? It's because I went after this place. I knew that would have liked it more than yesterday. Many years ago, I rescued the princess when she was just a little girl. She ran away from home and fell into these ice cold towns below. It's a good thing I was there to catch her and save her. Otherwise, she could have met her mother as great to you, sir. I won't be here.
you don't take care anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Dragon Ranger. Self, you are our promise. We will let you go them to the end of time that is our gift to you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Your services are most appreciated. Please shut up. Dragon almost lost his stepson, and all you care about is killing him? What would happen if you lost Dr. Nightmare in the explosion, man? I suppose that's the way it goes. And now you've become nothing more than an insect, waiting to be crushed underfoot. After surviving the destruction of the university from the blaster worm with a backup of his diff codes, and saving his own family, unfortunately, optical illusions have escaped with the dark web, now in their possession, will this truly be the beginning of the end for the computer world, and what new adventures await Void Ranger and his new family, don't miss the next episode, of Axa Rangers S.
and coming soon to total annihilation, breaking news, Void vs. Dragon's Stairway to Hell match will now become a triple threat match, after Minister Tyranium's recent assassination attempt on Void Ranger's life, Tyranium has signed a death warrant against both combatants, and both Void and Dragon cannot wait to get their hands on Tyranium, but because it's triple threat, it's still every fighter for themselves, who will walk out of total annihilation with the negative stars, Axa Rangers' S total annihilation, only two episodes away.